All right, guys, got another video here for you guys inspired by Fix Madden franchise. And I wanted to use a more current EA product, right? You know, we always talk about 2K and prior Maddens. But in this video, I'm going to talk about some simple things, man, that a game like NHL has that we still don't see in Madden's franchise. It's crazy. But before we dive into it, guys, you already know, I'm going to remind you, man, subscribe to the channel, cut on your notifications, and hit that like button. So let's get back to the video, man. Simple things like this. Look at this. Team chemistry and team morale. How important is that? And look at what it says there. It says the locker room chemistry is a value that shows how well your players are getting along. High chemistry increases your chance of winning. This is an NHL, folks. Now, I know nothing about the rules and regulations and this, that, and the third of hockey. And that's another reason why I wanted to choose this game. Because it's not about, you know, how good I think this might be in NHL. I have no idea how, how well these things work. As you can see here, I'm going through the morale. And we know morale is in Madden, but we don't know what it actually does, right? It's just a rating. We don't know what it actually does. Looking at it right here, it's, it's basically spelling it out for you. It's telling you exactly what's happening. Look at that. Locker room chemistry. As you can see, a guy like Sidney Crosby is a leader, as well as the other guy there. And I can't remember how to pronounce his name. But you see what I'm saying? And I only can assume that these things can change, where it could be a negative effect, where it would be below neutral. I'm only assuming that because we already read the definition from before as far as how it affects performance, et cetera, et cetera. But look at this. You go into it a little further, look at that. Overall morale, team performance, teammates, individual performance, management. So it's telling me everyone's morale that's connected to Sidney Crosby, right? Not just Sid the Kid. It's telling us how the team's performance is based off of morale. It's also telling us his teammates, his individual performance, and then management. And then look at this one. Here's another thing. Another thing. Look at this. Coach satisfaction. As you can see here, he has his favorite coaches, you know, who's um, who are, you know, more favored. You know, Dupati there, as, as, as well as Sarich. Currently, there's no unfavored. But again, I haven't played NHL to that level as far as franchise mode, but I can only assume that there's some unfavored coaches that can appear. How does that affect the team morale and performance, et cetera, et cetera? But look at all of this stuff. You know, look at the things as far as the preferred strategies and all of that. And of course, right here, man, I'm just kind of showing you how they display their attributes, which I definitely like the, you know, the system that they use in terms of the attributes. But then look at this. As we get to something simple, let's take a look at the pending free agents. To my knowledge, there's no way to view this in Madden at a quick glance. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think there's a way that we can look at it from a, you know, a quick glance view like this, where we can just go and look at all pending free agents. If I'm not mistaken, you still have to basically look at the contract screen and look at, you know, the years in which these guys are set to expire, et cetera, et cetera. Well, as you saw there, it was a very quick glance at it. Look at this, the RFA offer sheet compensation. These are minor details, folks. This is what I'm saying. These are minor things that are significant to a franchise. Why is this stuff not in Madden? I mean, we all know the answer to that. It's pretty rhetorical, guys. We already know that at the top level doesn't seem to be a priority, right? We already know that. That's what the whole Fix Madden franchise is about. But look at this. Coaching carousel. <laughs> Where you basically have, and we all know what that is. We loved it in NCAA. But look at the coaching staff and look at all of the different coaches that are here on staff. 
simple things folks that we can have in madden that will just take things to the next level as you can see here man i could go in and fire this coach if i wanted and then i would be you know required to go in and replace him and excuse the noise in the background guys if you're hearing that siren apparently something is going on you know an accident fire or what have you i've heard you know two or three fire engines have already gone by so you guys may hear the you know that noise in the background so if you do apologize for that but hey what are you gonna do about that it's live you know it's a live recording what am i gonna do but look at this man i mean this stuff is in nhl folks and the reason why i chose nhl is because nhl is not recognized as one of the top tier sports in the u.s and I'm not, you know, trying to knock NHL. I'm just talking about, in general, most people talk about basketball or football, right? Especially in the gaming world. Your NHLs of the world are not on the top tier of gaming. And that's no disrespect to NHL fanatics. But I make that point because if a game like NHL can add these details, how is it that no one at the top level of mad can recognize how important this stuff is. Look at this, <laughs> little stuff here, like interviewing the coach. So before I hire him, you know, I have to interview him and I didn't do this, obviously. Maybe I will do this as I go, you know, a little further into the franchise. You know, I'm just gonna be doing a lot of simming and testing things, but I don't know what happens from here. But the fact that you have to interview the coach is great. And like I said, I didn't do it in this video, I haven't played NHL's franchise, you know, I just popped this in just to get this video, but I'm gonna, you know, test that out and see what happens if I interview a coach, et cetera, et cetera. But my point being again, man, you gotta have a coaching staff. You have to have a coaching staff, man. I mean, in football, offensive and defensive coordinators and perhaps position coaches and assistant coaches. And you know, again, if you if you can't get them all in right away i understand that but we gotta have those basics and let's not forget this look at this scouts scouts another robust change that was implemented into nhl right a deep scouting system and we're going to see a little bit more about this you know here in, in the next clip here but basically here's your pool of scouts that I can go through and decide to, you know, hire guys and I can look at, you know, where they're ranked. And, you know, of course, you can negotiate the contract there as far as, you know, deciding what you want to pay them or what have you. I don't think there's any back and forth with the negotiation as all, you know, at all. But again, you have the ability to hire. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the draft board. So we'll take a quick look at the draft board and, you know, I just recorded this footage, guys. You know, as you can see, <laughs> I was off in my assessment right there. Where I meant to go was view draft class. Um, so, again, I just got this footage. You know, it's not in sync with my my audio, obviously, because, you know, I've recorded the video and then I'm coming in and giving you guys a voice over later. But I want you to pay attention to this as well. Look at what it says there at the bottom. The player's potential as predicted by your scouts. Hold on, let me get, get back to that screen. There we go. The player's potential as predicted by your scouts and the accuracy of their predictions. The scout of your scouting staff, the, excuse, me, excuse me, the skill of your scouting staff and the time spent scouting players increases their accuracy. So it's basically talking about the scouting accuracy legend. But look at that. All of this determines what you're going to know about this player. The information that you're going to get on the player. And not to mention, the attributes are hidden. This is what I talked about in my last video when I talked about some minor things that they may be able to do to help, you know, I can't even say save Madden 21, but at least to help give you something. I talked about hiding the attributes, all of the attributes, all the way through the draft, all the way through drafting them and having to play these guys to see what they're really going to be. But as you can see, NHL has a form of that where they hide these attributes and then scouting is really going to matter. 
the accuracy of the scouting report is determined on how good your scouts are and how much you scout them come on man now you you telling me this is not something that you would want in your nfl football product <sighs> man but like i said man fix madden franchise we got to keep that going i'm gonna keep pounding the table and pounding the table until we get what we desperately are needing and what we have asked for all right so that's gonna do it in this particular video guys if you haven't already make sure you subscribe cut on your notification and hit that like button we'll catch you in the next one peace